Lord bless you. The Lord keep you and make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Noonday Prayer. It is great to be with you. I hope there's enough light in here right now as the sun just suddenly went behind a cloud. Uh, there we go. I think that's a little better um, so that you can not only hear me but see me. And I read in the comments yesterday that someone needed a little more sound. Um, it looks like we've got plenty coming through now, so hopefully everything is uh, crisp and clear. Uh, so, let's begin with Noonday Prayer, page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our uh, psalm for today is Psalm 119 verses 105 to 112 and you can just continue um, if you're following along in your prayer books we'll just read the psalm right below where you are right now so your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path i have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments i am deeply troubled Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes, forever and to the end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading for today comes from 1 John, chapter 1, verses 1 1 through 2 2. We declare to you what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands concerning the word of life. This life was revealed, and we have seen it and testify to it, and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. 
We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our um, feast day today is for Catherine of Siena. Uh, Catherine was born in 1347, and she was the youngest of, get this, 25 children <laughs> born to a wealthy dyer of Siena. Um, and at the age of six, she had a vision of Christ in glory, surrounded by his saints. And from that time on, she spent most of her time in prayer and meditation, much to the opposition of her parents, who thought that she should be engaging in activities more suitable to a young girl of her age and status. It took her 10 years to convince them that she was not going to change, that she was going to follow God, follow this vision that she had seen and Christ's presence within her. And so at the age of 16, she joined the third order of St. Dominic, um, which, uh, which is lay people where she became a nurse and cared for patients with leprosy and advanced cancer, um, all the patients who the other nurses didn't like to treat. Catherine went on to do um, so many great things. She um, was a reformer and a spiritual teacher. She, was, she had a reputation as a person of insight and sound judgment. People from all walks of life came to her and sought her spiritual advice. Um, and she, uh, she counseled priests and bishops and kings. Um, she uh, was actually able to reconcile a quarrel between uh, the Pope and leaders of Florence. And so really did some, some incredible things in her lifetime. And it all started when she was six years old. We, um, we hear and talk a lot about the wisdom of children and how when we look at children and at their faith and at the things they say, you know, Bob and I are always telling you about the, the great things that come out of the mouths of the children when we do day school chapel or have, our, um, have had our gathering, um, gathering time with the kids. And so many times those insights are so clear and true and passionate and reveal Christ's presence to us. Um, six years old, Joel is turning six on Sunday. And, uh, and I look at my kids and I look at the kids in our parish and I think, what are they going to accomplish? How can, how can we, as the people who they look to, as their elders and mentors, how can we nurture Christ and God's love within these children to, to pick up on those little nuances that, that they have and those insights that they bring and to tease it out and encourage it. And so today I say, think of the children. <laughs> think of the kids who are in your life, um, who you know from our parish the the young children all the way through the teens and see how you might be able to reach out to them today or this week connect with them 
check on them, see how they're doing, see where God is showing up in their life through all of this craziness and, um, and help to help to strengthen them in any resolve to maintain their faith and share their love for God and of God. Okay, let's continue with our prayers. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you my own peace I leave with you regard not our sins but the faith of your church and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever amen I now invite your own prayers and thanksgiving silently aloud by typing into Facebook so we can pray with you and ask you to pray with us as we lift up those on our parish prayer list. For Alexis Emery, Rob Edwards, Betty Wills, Richard Hudson, Nancy Guineri, Aubrey Swinson, Joe Gallup, Margaret Britton, Kevin Campbell, Genevieve Nelson, Kurt, John Harris, Yvette Gormley, Pat Benton, Sid Kilgore, Patricia Cook, Shannon Briody, Dean Rogers, Emily and Kim, Ruth Rudolph, Rick and Robert Williamson, Cindy Bixby, Carvel Taylor, Jessica Williamson, Stan Hopkins, Hope Matthews, Brian Hunt, Meredith Guzman, Julius Ventura, Howard Hanchi, Amy, Pam Campbell, Ruth Ann, Donna Blankenship Hudgens, Frank, Kelly, Gabe, and Gio, Alan and Carol Orman. We pray for God's vision of a beloved community to become our vision for this world and for peace in our nation and world. We pray for deployed people everywhere and for medical and emergency personnel. And we pray for scientists working on solutions for COVID-19 and the distribution of vaccines. And let's see what birthdays we have today. It looks like we are celebrating the birth of Amanda Huntley and Isabel Myers. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you both. Thank you for being born, sharing your own unique love and joy with this world. And we pray that God will continue to bless you. Let the sun shine upon you and lift you up this day and the year to come. All right. I don't believe that I have any big announcements for you right now. So uh, just keep tuned with all of the emails that go out so that you know what's going on and um, and we'll see you again tomorrow so let us bless the Lord alleluia alleluia thanks be to God alleluia alleluia see you soon